What's going on you lot? This is Moni. You're watching Cine Shades and today I'll tell you three techniques that you need to know to create the perfect speed ramping transition in Premiere Pro. Hope you like that cinematic sequence. The coffee was sponsored by Sleepy Owl Coffee. Links are down below. And to explain the three techniques of the speed ramping effect, let's head back to the studio. Well, I must thank Peter McKinnon for this. Whew. So, what is speed ramping? Speed ramping is used to create style and drama to your footages, and is used by many YouTubers like Sam Calder and Peter McKinnon. Well, it's an amazing cinematic and a seamless transition, and we're gonna learn it right now. So, let's get into Premiere Pro. Wrong place. So let's get into the editing. So I'm using Premiere Pro CC here and we'll take two shots from that coffee sequence you just saw. So the first technique is the correct way to speed up and slow down your footage. I shot this sequence in 60 FPS. Now I'll make this window a bit bigger by scrolling here. And here you can see an effects icon. Just right click on it and choose time demapping and then click on speed. Now you can see this line to create keyframes. So what you need to do is taking the pen tool and create a keyframe where you would like to start the actual slow motion of the shot and then drag this line down to slow down the shot. If it's shot in 60 FPS, drag down till 40% and if it's shot in 120 FPS, then drag down till 20%. Then next you drag this part up to speed the starting of the footage and the same process with the end of the footage by creating a keyframe and speeding it up. The second technique will be smoothing out the transition from fast to slow by clicking on this little icon here and then dragging it to make the transition smoother or else the transition from slow to fast will be very abrupt. Also you can take this little handle here and turn it to make it more smooth. Now you repeat the same process in the second shot and place them in a cut. So the third technique is tweaking these settings with your music. So you have to tweak the start and end points with the beat of your music to get the feel of the video. Remember you have to edit it to the beat. It is the most most important tip for any transition in a video. So that's it for the video guys. Hope you liked the video. Do hit that subscribe button if you did. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.